Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Sun and Moon, and in this episode, we're gonna help Lily and go inside this canyon. Apparently on the other side is where we're supposed to summon the legendary Pokemon of the region. How about that in the vast canyon? I wonder what we'll find ahead. Probably a lot of Pokemon. Be weird if we didn't, and what a mysterious statue. Do you think it means something? No, it's just like their version of stop signs, probably. Anyways. Oh yes, Johnny, here, take this. Is this a free crap? Hey, You knew you could always count on you, Lily. And where the crud is how, come to think of it? It's Max Revive, I found the Aether Paradise. You just stole? Alright, I guess your house after all. When I... Once I'm ready, I'm gonna come after you, Johnny. I'm gonna catch up to you. Oh, you're gonna catch me like I'm a Pokemon. And when I do, I'm gonna become strong enough to save my mother and Nebby too. Oh yes. Let me first make sure that your Mimikyu is resting and ready for battle. Oh crap. If she's sealing us up, that must mean there's something strong on the way. Oh man. Being together with your favorite Pokemon is even better. And they're all feeling their best. Yeah, that's true. Having them, you know, poison and stuff isn't really too helpful. But yes, inside the vast canyon. I guess it's actually a cave because the first step I take actually got me to a Pokemon encounter. How about that? And Carbink. Okay. The... Rock and fairy type. Kind of interesting that it shows up here. Didn't it also show up in, like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, where we caught Rock Ruff. Wow, that was a long time ago, but for the time being, yeah, I don't think there's any way of getting around this trainer, so let's battle and trainers and Pokemon should be free. Freedom is good! I can tell you you're the real America. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna battle this guy. Who I guess is, yeah, Veteran Harry. Okay, so the Veteran Archetype is coming back from Pokemon X and Y. I was kind of curious, because, yeah, this guy, he looks like a main character. Kind of. But I guess he isn't? I don't know how to feel about that, but yeah, let's send in Mimikyu now. Torkoal? Oh, crap! Set up the drought! Wait, does that mean Torkoal and... Pelipper have new abilities? I think they do! That's pretty awesome, actually, and sadly... Playing rough here isn't really going to get us anywhere, so let's just go for the Shadow Claw now. Mimikyu is pretty darn tanky, and the special D- Oh my gosh, that was a crit. Uh, that ain't good. Um. So yeah, this didn't really do a lot of damage, but at least I'm pretty sure Mimi will be able to soak up a lot of hits. Now here's the problem. We could go into Yawashi and easily eat up those fire attacks, but we're also... Uh, here's the issue. Okay, so... I could go into a lot of different Pokemon, but I think I'm actually going to try and just Toxic this guy, this guy down. There's no reason not to. Now, Toxic doesn't have the best accuracy in the world. Sadly, it can't be 100% unless we had like a Victini. And yeah, this is probably going to hurt Mimi, but... Oh gosh, that did way too much damage. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Maybe, yeah, going into JoJo will be a little bit smarter. I hope he can just eat a heat wave, though. If not, we're gonna be in a world of hurt. Sadly, Mimikyu does not get a self-healing move from the looks of it. And that's a darn shame. If it had that, it'd be a really, really competitive. Actually, it'd probably make it too good. And okay. Oh my gosh, that was a crit. That was a crit in the sun, too. Oh my gosh. But yeah. They're gonna do some residual damage thanks to Mimi. Let's now try and get the rock slide going and yeah, these trainers are not messing around, dude. Holy crud. I thought, you know, it'd just be... Hi there, I got 12 Zubats. What do you mean I can only have six Pokemon on team? I got 12 Zubats, and I'm gonna use them all. And that'd be annoying. But, uh, yeah, he sent out Arcanine. Crap. This is kind of bad, man. All right, here's an idea. We can send in our Pokemon, too. Combuster. And since we're both Fire-type Pokemon versus his Arcanine, we should be totally fine. Sure, it can use its fire attacks in the sun, which will probably do a... Oh, I forgot about that. Arcanine has Intimidate. That's okay, though. I think we'll still be fine spamming Darkest Lariat and Extreme Speed. Oh, crud. He thought ahead. All right, so it looks like neither of us are using the power of the sun, but looks like my damage will be a little bit stronger because it's a stab attack and... Uh, wait. Does that... I just realized Darkest Lariat's ability or secondary effect. The target... The tar the tar I think that actually doesn't take the Intimidate into effect. If that's right, that is actually a way better move than I originally thought. I thought that if you just increased your defenses a lot, Darkest Larry, it wouldn't care. But if it actually takes... It just might. Holy crud. If that's an effect of that move, maybe Incineroar is a lot better than I thought. And good stuff. Be as free as you can be. I sure will. Whatever your name was, I already forgotten. 
<laughs> God dang it. I know I don't wanna I know I say this literally all the time in videos, but seriously, this theme is stinking. 10 out of 10. I'm not sure exactly why it reminds me of Pokemon Snap. I heard a lot of people actually saying it reminds them of Donkey Kong Country, which is kind of funny because I think that fits too, but. Do trial goers come all the way out here? What's the deal with kids in Alola? You should stay at home playing a Nintendo game. I don't even know what game says that, but yeah, we got a backpacker. She's cool. I guess. She's got Whimsicott. That ain't cool, because that's a fairy type. Wait. If it's a fairy type. How much damage do you think Play Rough would do? I really want to show off the animation because I don't know if it's changed or not, but... Oh well, I guess we'll find another target to use that against, and I wonder, do I have a TM for Poison Jab? If I do, giving that to Mimi wouldn't actually be that bad. That would help us a lot against, like, enemy Fairy-type Pokémon, but... Oh well, I guess I'll check that out in my items a little bit later on, and... <laughs> Every time, man. Oh wait, that's not even the right one. Who should I use the Dark dark EMZ on? Man, I love Z-moves. Honestly, I wasn't sure how to feel about them because they sort of reminded me of summons from Final Fantasy. Now, summon attacks from Final Fantasy are, hands down, probably the most definable thing about that franchise of games. But at the same time, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, oh wow, it doesn't actually get off its prankster ability. I guess I was going for a real attack, but at the same time, if you've been playing the games for a very long time, the animations are gonna start to, like, you know, become a tiny bit repetitive. And I was kind of worried that's what the Z-moves would be like, but from what I can gather, they're not that bad, which is great. And Alola's great. And your Pokemon are great. Why the sudden change of heart? You seem very standoffish towards the kids of Alola, and man, I don't know. Should I use a... Max Repel in here? Maybe. So far, all I've encountered is Carbink and Zubat, so... Not Zubat, but Golbat. Maybe that would be a smart idea, and I don't know why I'm going in there. Oh, I keep forgetting it's Eleanor. So where is my Max Repel? I wish there was a better way to, like, organize this stuff, but... Honestly, that's asking for a lot out of the Pokemon Company, in my opinion. Like, they can't really implement every tiny little thing. At least not in this gen, but yeah. Max Repel's right down there. Oh, we only have one crud. That's why you're gonna find it. It's all the way at the bottom, after all, but... Oh, snap. We can actually use our, um, companion seat. Wait. Can I get that? Oh, yeah, I can. How about that? A max potion. Not bad. Might as well just go ahead and grab... Wait, how do you get down there? Oh, there's an item here, too. Man, there's so much going on in this area. I love that. We got a comic shard. You know, despite that, we always sort of have a lot of money in this game. I find that kind of strange. And Oh, crud. Double ace trainers. Uh, let me think about this. Who do we want out in front? I'm thinking Goliath and Mangosty. Sure, they do have a pretty common... Actually, do they have any common weaknesses? I'm not sure if they do, but I think we'll be okay in this double battle. I guess this is sort of like the victory road of the region. The most dangerous spot in Alola. Allow me to test whether you can get past the vast Pony Canyon. Show me how serious you are in your Pokemon. Actually, I did those voices in reverse. The girl was supposed to go second. Well, how about... You know what? Maybe that's just what they sound like. I don't know, Amy and... What was the other one? Kent? Yeah. Sand Slash and Nine Tails. Okay. Oh. My. Gosh. Well, I didn't see that coming. Uh, that's a problem. Okay, so... These are Alolan Nine Tails and Sand Slash. And we ain't got crap to beat them! Alright, um... Let's just think about this realistically. Yeah, Mango Sea is in the worst possible position here. And we could go into JoJo, but we're definitely gonna switch in to an Ice-type attack, so I think maybe Combuster is the smarter way to go about this. Oh crap, I don't know about this, man. Ah, first impression, all right, let's see how much damage. I think it's resisted. Yeah, crap it is, oh crud. Ninetales going for Ice Beam. Just tank it, Combuster. Okay, good, don't get frozen. Okay, didn't it, going for the Slash. All right, that's fine. We don't really take too much damage from the Sand Slash. Now, out of the two, I feel that the Ninetales is way more deadly, so I'm gonna hope that we can just tank out one more attack from it. And okay, Sucker Punch. Let's see how much damage that can do. I imagine that Sand Slash is really bulky and... Oh wow, crap, the hail. That could be bad if this thing is packing Blizzard or any Ice-type move, really. It's just gonna whittle us down. I honestly wish, like, hail would get more support because... Ice-type Pokémon just really don't get enough love in the franchise, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, like, people love them. I think they have, like, the most fan art. At least it feels that way, heck. The sheer amount of Articuno fan art might outpopulate all the fan art of Gen 5 Pokémon in total. Just throwing that out there. Is that a statistic? Probably not. That's the way it feels to me. 
And now that Alola Ninetales exists, I'm pretty sure that number is going to increase. But yeah, let's just double up on the Sand Slash. But hey, that's really cool, you know? Showing off these like different Pokemon in this area. We've yet to have an Ice area yet. I assume that's going to be the final area because the area that, you know, where the Pokemon League is going to be kind of resembled that. And dang, we're really climbing in the levels, man. I'm happy about this. I've actually never had to grind in this game yet which I'm incredibly happy about, but the game's still like, at least with my team and my setup, reasonably difficult, which I'm happy about, and you guys have been able to reach the altar. Wonderful. You and your Pokemon should absolutely head to the altar. Wait, the altar's near? Dang, I thought this place would go on for a little bit longer. I thought we were here for a two-parter, but yeah, I guess not. I guess we gotta keep ascending. Hmm. I guess we'll do this. I wonder, I mean, I don't think we can actually go down there yet. Maybe that's like for a bit later, but. Yeah, I guess we're already here. Is that really it? I guess we should keep following these, like, things. Oh my gosh, yo, this is awesome! I mean, what a well-designed area. They knew how they wanted to end this game, but yeah, no, we're not done yet. There's still another segment and another Zygarde Cell to get! Uh! I wish there was, like, a way I could tell how many of those I had left, but... Yeah, oh man, this is so cool. It's like testing, like, every part of the, you know, ride and all the Pokemon that we got so far. I think that's really cool. Excuse me, Charizard, of course, and if you can climb the mountains, there's, you know, the Pokemon. I'm tired, man. Can we just, can you start having me? I mean, I want to go home and see my wife and kids. I want to be a backpacker. <laughs> I just noticed he has little leaves on his shoulders. I think that's kind of funny, but... Oh, Crud Archeops. Uh... Oh, goodness. I don't know about him. Now, that is a Rock-type Pokemon, and he's flying. So my first impression is going to do no stinking damage. We can try Frost Breath, though. Maybe that'll do something. And Okay, it's going for Dragon Breath. What? Archeops, you're not a dragon. You're so silly. Look, look, look at this guy. He's just flopping around. What a silly little dude. I love Archeops. Although, I'm not going to be able to get my second attack off if this crunch does even, like, half my... Actually, you didn't... Oh, nope. It did do enough. God dang it. Oh, well. Whatever. Um... We don't really have a ton that can take this thing down, that's an issue. I guess Yawashi is the smartest switch in here since there's literally no way he can beat me in my school form. Like seriously, I don't think in any realm of possibility, even if this thing had a choice band, somehow had a super effective move, there's no way it could finish me off in one hit. Not even with a crit. Not even with Endeavor. Oh crap, I, I, so does a ton of damage though. All right, whatever. Get out of here, Archeops. And oh, it stops flying when it's you know low HP. It doesn't fly as fast. I think that's cool. Archeops, you're a cool guy, man. Don't listen to anybody. Not right, Rampardos. Um, this is a little risky because Rampardos does do a ton of damage and like an absolute ton. So he might be able to finish me off, but I'm still pretty confident. Let's go for the Scald and Chip away. What? What? Really? That's that, that's how you spend your one turn? Alright, Rampardos, you say so. Oh my goodness, alright. Uh, these trainers, though, are not pushovers at all. They're Pokemon herd, and I went to the top, and you're the tops. That's pretty similar. Oh. I mean, hey, did, at least you accomplished that. Good, jo good job on you, man. Alright. <laughs> I actually really need to heal up my team, because I think I've been relying on the fact that... Oh my gosh, we only have five left. Uh-oh. That ain't good. I've been really relying on the fact that How and Lily are always nearby and pretty much full healing me anytime I'd need to, but yeah, I guess that's all the healing we're gonna get. Hopefully Goliath can take on whoever's gonna come up next, because honestly, I'm tired of wasting those stinking potions. Anyways, I think we're getting there. Yeah, things, things seem like really mysterious. And oh, wait, we can go inside these caves? I wonder if there's a TM around here. Maybe Earthquake. Oh, nope, another veteran. Uh, hi there. I like Pokemon. I like battling. I like using moves. And I love winning. I usually do all those things at the same time. How about that? <laughs> I just like that line. And oh my. You know, the other veteran, you know, he was. Ugly. She's a lot nicer looking, though. I'm just going to throw that out there. And perfect. Okay, so. Since Starmie is also a psychic type. Oh boy, we can actually do a ton of damage here. And man. I knew this one kid in, like, school who, like, was obsessed with Starmie. And as a kid, I'm like, really? That Pokemon? Sure, Misty has it and all. It's cool, I guess. But 
I never thought later on. Oh crap, Talonflame. Uh, okay, we got JoJo though. <laughs> Every time I see that name, I'm like, <laughs> I have a panic attack. But no, we have a priority Rock type move. But yeah, I never thought later in my life it'd become one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I uh, had one in fourth generation, and I used them a lot during the Battle Frontier, in both Platinum and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And I basically had it with like a Psychic type move, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and like Surf. And oh boy, beating Battle Frontier was really easy with that thing, but yeah, it's kind of funny to- wait. Shino tick I have no idea what this is, so I'm just gonna go into Mango Steve, but... Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of funny to think back in the past and like, see things that you weren't really a fan of, and then you become a fan of because of certain events, and what the dump is that? I'm gonna assume it's a grass type, but what the- Seriously, look at this guy! It's Stinking Toad! Oh my gosh, there's gonna be a million people naming that Pokemon Toad. I feel so bad for it. And... Wait, what? I guess it's not a Grass type. Is it a Fairy type? Do we even have anything that can beat down Fairy types? I don't think we do. Crap. Oh yeah, I was supposed to sh see if Mimi had Poison Jab. Well, this is a problem. Uh, if we go into Combustor and it's a Fairy type. Because it looks pink. That's that's the only reason I think it's a fairy type. Alright. I'm going to assume it's a fewer fairy, fairy type. Yeah, the fairy, the platypus. <laughs> well, crap. I guess I was right. But that's not great. Because, yeah, that's going to... Oh, lower my special attack. I'm okay with that. Alright, so let's try a rock slide. Chances are this might be able to do enough damage. I know next to nothing about this Pokemon. And... Hey, was that resisted? Wait, it is a grass type. No! Oh, but I'm so sorry, Jojo. I thought it was like Florges, and it was just, you know, a thing that looked like a grass type. It wasn't. Okay, that's a problem. Um, if it's a grass type, it's if it's grass type, and it doesn't seem like it's that fast. If you know, Mango Steve went before it. I could not think of my own Pokemon's nickname. My goodness, I'm a bad trainer. Let's just try and go for the flamethrower, and we do outspeed. Okay, so we're not getting hit by the Moonblast. I'm ha actually, we no, we resist Fairy type. I'm so bad about the Fairy type. It's not even funny, but yeah. Down goes that crazy Pokemon. Oh my gosh, wasn't really that crazy, but yeah, I lost. I'm a Pokemon that lost are adorable. Well, I'm glad you think so, <laughs> but yeah. That kind of came out of nowhere. It's crazy to think there's still Pokemon. I, pl I played like a large majority of the game, but I'm still finding different Pokemon every time. And uh, um, let's use Mazadale's Gallop. How about that? Yeah, it seems like the better idea. And I'm surprised that Max Repel is literally lasting so long. And Hey, what, there's a trainer here? Lady, I'm galloping, come on! A strong trainer can tell the strength of his or her own opponent at a glance. Lady, I got time for this. I got to literally go save the universe at that altar. Junko. It's a very Japanese name. You sure you're from Alola? I don't think you are. Just run that out there. And, okay, great, we do still have Goliath out, but yeah, this is like an endurance round, holy crud. Wait, I just realized, why am I even going down this path? The other path seemed like it was going there. Man, there must be something really good on the other side of this, but... Oh well, Lilligant, not really a problem when you got Goliath and Weavile. I'm actually gonna stay in, because Weavile has nothing on Goliath, and a Leech Life should be able to one-hit KO it. I'll exert its pressure, but I don't really give a crap about that, and man. I just love... Just, there's so much that's just great about this game. You guys have literally no idea, and... Wait, it took my move. Like, I give a dump, you lost! <laughs> like... You serious? Like, come on! Like... Ah, man, I, could, I probably should make a standalone video, just like, why Gen 6 is so... or Gen 7 is so great. In fact, I don't know why I've been holding back. I've been such a big fan of Pokemon. I don't know why I'm limiting myself to just normal playthrough videos, but then again, I guess this is sort of what I'm known for, but at the same time, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to convey exactly why a game works in a playthrough series, you know? No one's gonna watch, like, every part of it. And, yeah, there was a TM. Dazzling Gleam? This really should have been Earthquake, but you know what? I'll take it. Um, Can anyone even benefit from that? Oh, right. I don't, have, I don't have any special attackers. Well, that's a great move to get if you do have any. Considering how many, like, fairy type and, like, non-fairy types can learn that move, it's really, really helpful. And we're apparently we're off. All right. I'm going to see if I have another one on me. And, in fact, we do. Good. Nice. And... I get the feeling maybe I should start using other held items instead of the Z moves, but at the same time, man, they are pretty stinking awesome. I thought there'd be like a lot more build up to that, but hey, I'm actually glad I took that path. It let me encounter that really weird, 
<laughs> mushroom Pokemon, which I'll probably never forget about because it literally when it came out, I don't know, it just looked like a scary alien. I don't anyways. I guess we're progressing and oh well he was right behind us. <laughs> that cannon truly is a difficult path to walk. Yeah, no kidding. So it's just considering you don't have Mudsdale and if you make it to the vast pony canyon. Seems like nothing at all, Johnny. Man, Lily's such a she's such a she's such a moral support, man. Honestly, and oh gosh, I don't know about this bridge. But you know what? I've overcome my fears enough to cross even a high bridge like this one. Just be careful, Lily. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Remember with Cosmog and I'm not gonna be afraid of heights anymore. Next time, I shall even be able to tackle that bridge a mile out. Oh, so she wouldn't go after Nabby because she was afraid of heights. Watch this. This is my trial. Yeah, All right. Good luck, Lily. I swear, if something bad happens to her here, I'm gonna be so upset. Please, just don't let it. It's gonna happen. I already know what's gonna happen. God dang it! Yep, there's Murkrow. Come on, Murkrow, be cool. She was just getting over a fear of heights. Don't freak her out and fly near her. Oh my gosh, that'd be so terrifying. Like, I'm not even afraid of heights anymore, but jeez, that would be scary. And no! Lily! <laughs> Look at it! It just waddles up. I thought it would, like, fly at her. And Oh, gosh. Look at these guys. What a bunch of bullies, man. Our, tra our, our main character is literally just ignoring it. No, she'll take them all on. <laughs> just ran past them and... Oh, you did it, Lily. Congrats! Now, I want to catch one of those Murkrow. I want a Honchkrow. He's cool. And... Johnny, I did it! I made it all the way across! I cleared my try. Oh, I'm just so happy. Alright, Murkrow, get out of here, guys. I don't got any food. Alright. Well, I'm glad that's over. I completed my first trial. Amazing, right, Johnny? It was alright. Don't pat yourself on the back too hard. <laughs> oh, you spoil spoil. <laughs> Sorry, Lily. It's too hard to pass up and call some pot. Do you want some rest? Heck yeah, we do. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of healing items. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I have hyper potions and revives, and even a lot of ethers too. I'm not sure if we're out enough max repels for both. Oh, that's a problem. I'm out too. Well, let's hope things go well. I guess she can heal up her Pokemon if we need it. But yeah, the canyon's not done yet. I wonder what those Pokemon are. You know what? Let's just pretend like we didn't even see them, because they're probably like Doug Tree or something. And okay. Something tells me, yeah, we're gonna need not Tauros. There we go. So let's push this aside. I really hoping. Okay, it's not like the Gen 3 puzzles where you push a block and then you're totally screwed and you. I retract that statement. Oh my goodness. You know, sometimes paying attention to your surroundings is probably the way to go. And come to think of, I saw a TM down there. Oh, you better believe I'm getting that. But man, I guess we're not as far as I thought we were. It seems like there's a lot more to this canyon than I originally thought. And I'll oh, crap the repellent more off. Let's put another one on. I'm really curious if there are any, like, good Pokemon here, but given how this is a cave in Pokemon games, I really doubt it's gonna change that much, and man, full restore, nice. One thing I'm not really... I guess I shouldn't say that, but one thing I do think that sort of retracts a bit from the environment, doesn't have, like, an intended effect, are the Pokemon cries that happen in the area. I mean, they're really cool, don't get me wrong, but I do feel like sometimes they might appear a little bit too often, you know? Maybe that's just me, but, oh well. Got Dust Ball, not bad. I don't think we've actually... There's probably a town we've encountered where I could buy those, but I just haven't gotten one yet, and... Oh, snap, another one. Man, I'm gonna actually look this up. Oh, wow, it does actually show me. Okay, sweet, so I have roughly a third of all the Zygarde cores in the game. Awesome. Nice, so I only need to get uh, a lot more to finish up whatever thing we get for getting all 100 of them, but hey, I'm kind of happy about that. I assume a lot of them might be in the post game or in some hidden areas, and yeah, I don't think my, my, my champ tried to climb using that ladder, he would just like take it into the dirt, but yeah, we're making actually pretty good progress. I'm happy about that. See, this whole time I was like, man, I wish they could just tell me, but I guess it does, and hi there, lady. Do you work for Team Skull? Because it looks like you're about to. I'm gonna get fired up naturally! Or is it, I'm gonna get fired up naturally? You know, that, that comma mattered a lot. And Punk Girl Anna. Or Anna. It probably matters, and I had set like 20 people. Whoa, that ball! Okay, is that what the dust balls looks like in this game? Because, okay, half of my Pokemon are in Snake and Dust Balls, because <laughs> that's all I used to use back in the day, but. 
That's pretty cool. Man, I can't wait to transfer over my team from the previous generation. But yeah, get out of here, Persian. I don't like you anyways. Yeah, skedaddle, oh my goodness. Man, Goliath is so stinking cool. All right, Honchcrow. Honchcrow probably won't take this attack as well. And oh crud, doesn't it get like... Yeah, it's gonna have some like other attacks. All right. Oh crap, I forgot. This isn't the first time. Oh no. I'm sorry, Galsapod. That was not what I intended at all. I hit that by accident. I was thinking, yeah, it's the first time the Pokemon seen me. I can do the first impression, but no, that's not how it works. All right, the wing attack, we should be able to eat up. Hopefully, okay, we did. It did not do over half, and as long as we don't hit ourselves in confusion, yes, this Leech Life should do an absolute ton. Because we got the Swagger, heck yeah. And that's why you don't always use Swagger, kids. It's not always the best move. Right, unless you got Cliff Key, that's pretty stinking broken. Just selling that out there. Combustor leveled up, and let's learn Scary Face. Man. I wish I'd just learn a fighting move already, and I got fired up and lost. N naturally. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, pretty darn good. Just throwing that out there, but... Yeah. I feel like we're pretty much at the end. Wait, who the heck is this? Hi there. Uh... What? Oh, she's like an artist! Okay, I was like, um... What's wrong with your eyes, and... Oh... Uh, now that's a great composition. I could paint a picture of you. The visitor, it's a pony. Guess I didn't introduce myself though. I'm Mina. I'm the captain. I mean, I sort of am. Uh, I actually just went around doing my art, so I don't have an actual trial or anything. That's Pony Canyon, sure is a wonder, huh? Once you've been through this place, you really get to understand what that Ilma boy designed his trial the way he did, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here, take this as a token of our acquaintance. What? Just like that, I get the... Are you serious? It's the Ferium Z. Get your Z on. I'm the captain and all, so I've got to come up with a trial. Maybe it could involve painting pictures and picking flowers. Uh, maybe a trial like that could be cool. Not really fitting for the last one, though. And see you later, then. Alola. Alola. All right. Peace out. Uh, Mina, that was really different. How about that? I mean, we've actually progressed a whole heck of a lot. I feel like I've literally missed a million items, though, and I'm probably going to come back and wait. Oh, my gosh. No way. We take the trees. All right. That's it. This game is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I know it's not the first time Pokemon's done this, but holy crud, that's stinking amazing. And I don't know what this path leads to, but I'm kind of drawn to it for some reason. Oh, there's a whole lot of nothing. How about that? Wait, there's an item over here. Full heal. That can't be it, right? This place is, like, way too... It just looks really special. I don't know why, but yeah. I guess maybe... Let's battle this guy and call it an episode. It's kind of strange, though. We, like... I don't know, this is like the final dungeon, right? But it feels like it's just... It doesn't have an end, I don't know, and I'll win! That's all there is to it! Will I finally be able to show off? Play rough. I swear, if this guy somehow has a Pokemon, I can't... And his name is Earl! His name is Earl and he has a Polyrath! Holy crud, alright. You know what? Earl from My Name is Earl, he probably did have a Polyrath, and if you don't get that reference, I don't blame you. It's a really weird one, but yeah, let's show off Play Rough. And now that we have the Ferium Z, we could actually use this attack, and oh wow, that didn't really change all much, did it? Ah, come on! Bro, I just want to show off Play Rough, and you're making this so hard on me. Whatever, let's just use one of our... Do we have an Awakening? Okay, we do. We also have Fire Emblem Awakening. How about that? What was this doing in my bag? Anyways, enough for me talking about that game because, oh crap, it's gonna try the the combo. Too bad I'm Mimikyu and I win no matter what. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're gonna be way faster. It avoided? No way! Oh my gosh. The one time I try and show off how strong Play Rough can be and how the fairy type is just completely broken and honestly needs to be rebalanced. It seriously does need a second weakness, but eh, that's just my opinion. It didn't work out and oh my gosh, it's finally gonna learn something new. Okay, Stone Edge plus this Pokemon? Holy crap. Now, 
I understand the accuracy is not amazing. Stone Edge and, oh wow, it's PP got nerfed. Only has five now. Only has 80 accuracy, but 100 power. There's no way we can pass up getting that on a JoJo. That is such a good combo. JoJo's gonna be a monster, man. Holy crud, and yeah, this guy's trainer was kinda, I don't know, in liquidation, what the heck is that? User, what? That's like an even stronger waterfall? Oh my gosh, all right. You know, I realize we literally just got this move and all, but that seems like a fantastic stab attack for Goliath. Oh my gosh, that's great, and I lost. That's all there is to it. Well, you guys are terrific. Aw, oh, thank you, old man, Kung Fu Master. It's very nice of you. I think you're pretty okay, too. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. We're not at the destination yet where we need to be, but we're getting closer every step of the way. Wow, that sounded so corny. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you in the next one, where hopefully we reach our destination. So see you guys then. Bye.